Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be talking about all of the ebooks that I hauled in March. <laughs> Hello everyone, I hauled a bunch of books in March on my Kindle app. 90% of them were free. Hopefully y'all will be able to download some books for some great deals. I don't know if all of these are still free, but hopefully they are. There are a lot to talk about today, so I better get started. The first book that I have is Amnesia by Canada Jackson, and this is still currently free. When NASA began their negotiations with the arriving aliens who offered them desperately needed salvation, they didn't know they were dealing with a monster, a universal terrorist, driven to possess, to conquer, and destroy. Incapable of love and devoid of compassion he was only saving a human colony to appease his younger brother who ruled their planet in a solar system far away when evacuation negotiations become difficult he defies his brother's blueprint and changes the deal after months of coveting the chief negotiators repressed and dominated fiance he offers her liberation she doesn't even realize she needs and finds a devious way to make her his own. The story begins months later when Amber wakes up after a crash landing to find herself on a hostile planet with a man beside her that shifts into a demon warrior whilst protecting her from the wild creatures they run into. She can't remember him nor can she remember the end of Earth and how she came to be in a new solar system with an alien who claims they are lovers. Even though she is widely attracted to him, something feels amiss, especially his recount of how they came to be together after Earth's mysterious ending, or why they can't immediately return to his home planet where he is the monarch's son. As their adventure continues, Amber is hurtled into worlds that both stun and defy her imagination. Her continued flashbacks of another lover, the mystery surrounding her departure from Earth, and how she came to be the coveted spouse and princess of his planet are slowly revealed to her along the terrifying choices she has made to survive. Next, I got Him by Serena Bowen off of my Kindle Unlimited subscription. You could either get this on Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $4.99. Jamie Canning has never been able to figure out how he lost his closest friend. Four years ago, his tattooed, wisecracking, rule-breaking roommate cut him off without an explanation. So what if things got a little weird on the night of hockey camp? Camp that summer they were 18. It was just a little drunken foolishness. Nobody died. Ryan Wesley's biggest regret is coaxing his very straight friend into a bet that pushed the boundaries of their relationship. Now with their college team set to face off at the national championship, he'll finally get a chance to apologize. But all it takes is one look at his longtime crush and the ache is stronger than ever. Jamie has waited a long time for answers, but walks away with only more questions. Can one night of sex ruin a friendship? If not, how about six more weeks of it? When Wesley returns up to coach alongside Jamie for one more hot summer at camp, Jamie has a few things to discover about his old friend and one big one to learn about himself. Next, I have Claimed by the Alien by Celia Stiles. This is on Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $3.77. When Gwendolyn was abducted from her front yard, she thought that her world couldn't get any weirder. Subjected to humiliating and invasive probes, then forced into hours of questioning, the day was hell on a spaceship. But when Hearn, the alien in charge of her case, introduces her to diacticals, <laughs> she realizes that things are about to get a whole lot weirder. Realized but not forgotten, Gwendolyn finds diacticals on her doorstep a few months after her return and realizes there's only one way she's getting out of this. Either he lives with her or she returns to the mothership permanently. But this arrangement becomes better with every passing week as they learn more about each other. Can Gwendolyn keep her relationship with the alien platonic? Does she even want to? Next, I downloaded Virgin Beast Mate by Milana Jax. This is still currently free on Amazon and apparently it is also a part of Audible Escape, which I didn't know until now. Reem lives in a secluded, sheltered life inside Community One. Sold to one of the alien beasts who now rule Earth, an experienced young Reem is terrified she won't know how to please her husband and he'll end up eating her instead of betting her. After years of waiting, Troy finally gets his mate. When he lands her, on his lap during their pairing party, he confirms her virginity. He can't wait until they're home so he can show her the only thing she should fear is his big heart. <laughs> Next, I downloaded Antidote Love and War 
book one by RA7. I originally got this for free, but it's not free anymore, but you can purchase it for 99 cents and it looks like it is also a part of Audible Escape. Sky Chantrell has just left the war zone. She's carrying a stolen antidote to a deadly bioweapon. When her damaged shuttle crashes on a remote lunar outpost, she's captured by the leader of a rogue group of barbaric aliens. Now her people's fate, not to mention her own, rests in the hands of the seven systems most feared and hated criminal, a man with the face of a brutal thug and the eyes of an angel. Hunter Tharazin has every reason to hate the regime. He and his comrades have gone rogue, vowing to use every means at their disposal to bring down the evil premier. Now they're wanted and on the run, holed up in an abandoned outpost while they plan their next move. The last thing Hunter needs is a female human, Sivy, with a terrible secret crash landing on his doorstep, especially when she starts to awaken feelings in him that have no place in his real life as a rebel leader, feelings that could very easily get all of them killed. Next, I have The Awakening of Ivy Leovold by Sierra Simone. This is still currently free on Amazon. Yorkshire 1879. I am alone. When Ivy Leovold is left destitute by her brother's death, she is taken in by her cousin's brooding, tortured widower, Julian Markham. Handsome and possessive, it's not long before Ivy falls for him. But Mr. Markham has dark secrets, secrets that may put Ivy in danger. As Ivy unravels the mysterious surroundings around her cousin's death, she falls deeper and deeper in love with Julian, who opens her body and mind to his indomitable will. But even as he draws pleasure and desire from her night after night, Ivy can't shake the feeling that their passionate affair may end in violence. Next, I downloaded the entire The Bargainer trilogy. Um, I guess I'll just read Read the summary for the first book in the series for y'all called Rhapsodic by Laura Thalassa. Uh, these are all on Kindle Unlimited. They're not free anymore, but at the time all of them were free. Calypso Lilis is a siren with a very big problem, one that stretches up her arm and far into her past. For the last seven years, she's been collecting a bracelet of black beads up her wrist, magical IOUs for favors she's received. Only death or repayment will fulfill the obligations. Only then will the beads disappear. Everyone knows that if you need a favor, you go to the bargainer to make it happen. He's a man who can get you anything you want at a price. Everyone knows that sooner or later he always collects, but one of his clients, he's never asked for repayment until now. When Callie finds the fey king of the night in her room, a grin on his lips and a twinkle in his eye, she knows things are about to change. At first, it's just a chaste kiss, a single bead's worth, and a promise for more. For the bargainer, it's more than just a matter of rekindling an old romance. Something is happening in the other world. Fey warriors are going missing one by one. Only the women are returned, each in a glass casket, a child clutched to their breast and then there are whispers among the slaves whispers of an evil that's been awoken if the bargainer has any hope to save his people he'll need to help the siren he spurred long ago only his foe has a taste for exotic creatures and cali just happens to be one next i downloaded sentinel by anna hackett i downloaded this when it was free but it is on kindle unlimited or you could purchase it for 3.99 when quinn bennett's exploration ship is attacked the security chief finds herself abducted by alien slavers Unable to save her crew, she is taken across the galaxy and sold to a desert scavenger on the lawless planet of Carthago. Driven by her guilt and failure, she'll do anything to escape and save the other abductees from her ship. Chained and forced into servitude, she's waiting for her chance to strike. When across a dusty trading post, she comes face to face with a big cyborg gladiator. Jaxer Roan's loyalty is to his Imperator, the man who saved him from a lethal cyborg military program. Jax works tirelessly for his gladiator house and would die for his fellow cyborgs. His emotional dampers have never functioned well, but while he feels some emotion he never lets it get in the way of his duty. Right now, his mission is to find the stolen humans from Earth, but when he rescues the fierce, relentless Quinn, he starts feeling a rush of emotions he's never experienced before. Quinn and Jax join forces to track down the aliens holding the Earth women captive. Side by side, they venture into the desert and uncover a desire hotter than the desert suns. But the aliens who captured Quinn want her back. In order to protect Quinn, will Jax embrace his newfound feelings or shut them off to keep her safe? Next, I have Forever and All the Afters by K.I. Lynn at the time this was free it's not free anymore you could purchase it for $3.99 though he promised me forever then he boarded a plane for a college a thousand miles away and never returned a decade later there's a ring on my finger with a promise from a new love just as my life falls into place pretty as the pages of a magazine my world is knocked over the moment he touches me everything around me begins to crack exposing all the lies i've told myself every glance reminds me every touch ignites things aren't how they used to be 
love isn't easy. Next I have Breakline by Sarah E. Green. I downloaded this when it was free. It is not free anymore, but it is on Kindle Unlimited, or you could purchase it for $2.99. Emery Lawson was on the path to follow her dad's footsteps. Going pro and surfing has always been the plan. The dream until it wasn't. At 19, everyone thinks Emery is done surfing, and aside from her two best friends, no one knows the truth. Emery hasn't stopped surfing. What was once her dream is now her little secret. But if she wants to go pro, that secret is going to have to come out. 22 year old Sebastian Bash Clayton has worked hard to get where he is. For eight years, he's never had a day off, never taken a vacation. He's the best at his sport for a reason, but the passion that once drove him to chase the waves is missing, and Bash, Bash is tired. When he he escapes for a recharge in a small beach town. He never expects to crash into a girl who introduces him to a new life. Secrets, hardships, and relationships come out of the debut tale of starting over and never letting go of your dreams. Next, I have Undiscovered by Anna Hackett. This is still currently free on Amazon. Finding undiscovered treasures is always daring, dangerous, and deadly. Perfect for the man of treasure hunter security. Former Navy SEAL Declan Ward is haunted by the demons of his past and throws everything he has into his security business. Treasure hunt security. Dangerous archaeology. Archaeological. I can't say that word. Dangerous archaeological archaeology <laughs> dangerous digs no problem daring expeditions sure thing museum security for invaluable exhibits easy but a simple dig in the egyptian desert he collides with a stubborn smart archaeologist dr lane rush and together they get swept into a deadly treasure hunt for a mythical lost oasis when an evil from his past reappears declan vows to do anything to protect elaine dr lane is dedicated to building a successful career a promise to the parents she lost far too young but when her dig is plagued by a strange accident targeted by a lethal black market antiquities ring and artifacts are stolen she's forced to turn to the treasure hunter security and to the tough sexy and too used to giving orders Declan. Soon her organized digs morph into a wild treasure hunt across the desert dunes, dangerous hunting them every step of the way. And Lane and Declan must find a way to work together, not only to find the treasure, but to survive. Next I have Gladiator by Anna Hackett. At the time this was free, it's not free anymore, but you could get it off of Kendall Unlimited or you could purchase it for $2.99. When Earth space marine Harper Adams finds herself abducted by alien slavers off a space station, her life turns into a battle for survival. Dumped into an arena on a desert planet on the outer rim, she finds herself face to face with a big tattooed alien gladiator, the champion of the core Magna Arena. A former prince abandoned to the arena as a teen Raiden Taigo has long ago earned his freedom. Now he rules the arena, but he doesn't fight for the glory, but instead for his own dark purpose, revenge against the Thraxan aliens who destroyed his planet. Then his existence is rocked by one small, fierce female fighter from an unknown planet called Earth. Harper is determined to find a way home, but when she spots her best friend in the arena, a slave of the evil Thraxan aliens, she'll do anything to save her friend, even join forces with the tough alpha male who sets her body on fire. But as Harper and Raiden Raiden step foot into the blood-soaked sands of the arena, Harper worries that Raiden has his own dangerous agenda. Next I have Mission, Her Protection by Anna Hackett. At the time this was free, unfortunately it's not free anymore, but it is on Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $3.99. Dr. Rowan Schaefer has learned it's best to do things herself and not depend on anyone else. Her cold academic parents taught her that lesson. She loves the challenge of running a research base until the day her scientists discover the object in a retreating glacier. Under attack, Rowan finds herself fighting to survive until the mysterious Team 52 arrives. Former Special Forces Marine Lake and Hunter's military career ended in blood and screams until he was recruited to lead a special team. A team tasked with a top secret mission to secure and safeguard pieces of powerful ancient technology. Married to his job, he's done too much and seen too much to risk inflicting his demons on a woman. But when his team arrives in the Arctic, he uncovers both an unexplained artifact and a young woman from his past now all grown up, a woman who ignites emotions inside him like never before. But as Team 52 heads back to their base in Nevada, other hostile forces are after the artifact. Rowan finds herself under attack as the bullets fly. Lakin vows to protect her at all costs, but in the face of danger, like they've never seen it before, will it be enough to keep her alive? Next, I have The Pact by Karina Halley. I got this for free at the time. Unfortunately, it's not free anymore. You could get it off of Kendall Unlimited 
or you could purchase it for $3.99. It all started with a pinky swear. Lydon McGregor is tall, rugged, and gunslinger handsome, a helicopter pilot, and charm despair. He is also one of Stephanie Robson's best friends and has fit into the box for so long she's known him. Beautiful, funny, and ambitious businesswoman with one hell of an ass, Stephanie Robson is one of Lydon McGregor's best friends and has to fit into that box for as long as he's known her. But some relationships can't be boxed, can't be classified, can't be tamed. Back in their mid-20s and tired of the competitive hit-or-miss dating scene of San Francisco, Steph and Lyndon make a pact to marry each other if neither one of them were in a serious relationship by the time they hit 30. It sounded like fun and games at the time, but as the years to 30 tick past and lovers come and go out of their lives, the pact becomes larger than life. Sex is inevitable, friendships are tested, hearts are on the line. The pact is about to change everything. Next I have After All by Karina Halley. This is on Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $3.99. It is also on Audible Escape. Emmett Hill is the perfect gentleman. At least that's what his PR team wants the world to think. Tall, handsome, and wickedly charming, Emmett is in the midst of a career comeback, having landed the role of a villain in a popular TV show. The only problem is Emmett has come a long way from the nice guy characters he used to play and his old squeaky clean image is quickly being tarnished by bar fights womanizing and bad boy behavior. Considering he's two years shy of 40, it's an act he needs to drop and fast. Enter Alyssa Martin. At 28, Alyssa is tired and ready for a change. Her job as office manager has grown stagnant and unfulfilling. While she becomes continuously frustrated with Vancouver's lackluster dating scene, she always searching for Mr. Right in a city of Mr. Wrongs. When Emmett and Alyssa's paths cross at a mutual friend's wedding, their chemistry is off the charts hot, culminating in a steamy one night stand. What neither of them expected was that the media catch wind of their coupling and run with it. Now Emmett has to convince Alyssa to date him for the sake of his image. Her curvy, cute, and normal persona is just the ticket for soothing out his reputation, while Emmett provides Alyssa with the excitement and change her life has been lacking. The only problem is, the two fight like cats and dogs outside the bedroom. And considering their arrangement is just for show, they shouldn't be in the bedroom with each other anyway, right? Try telling them that. Next, I have another Karina Halley book called Rocked Up. This is a Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $3.99. I've been watching him since I was a teenager. He didn't notice me back then and it didn't matter. Brad Snyder, guitarist and singer for one of the world's greatest bands, was my entire life. My father, the CEO of Ramsey Records, takes credit for all of Brad's success, trying to control him in the same way he controlled me. But when I finally get an opportunity to prove myself, to be wild, to be free, today I'm auditioning to be the replacement bass player for Brad's band. If I get the job, I'll go on tour and work with Brad every day in very close proximity. There's only one rule. He's not allowed to touch the boss's daughter. Remember when I said that Brad never used to notice little old me? Well, Brad is noticing me now in a way that's going to get us both in trouble. My name is Lael Ramsey and we all know how this will turn out. Next, I have Nothing Personal, also by Karina Halley. At the time, I purchased it for free, but it's not free anymore, unfortunately, but you could purchase it for $3.99 or it is on Kindle Unlimited. Nova Lane is having the worst week ever. Her latest relationship ended while on her much needed vacation. First day back from work, her beloved boss has quit. And despite all of her hard work, she's not being considered for his position. The one who is being considered is none other than Kessler Rocha, her ex-co-worker and ex-lover, the man who broke her heart five years earlier. The reason she moved thousands of miles away, switched jobs, and created numerous voodoo dolls in Kessler's very burly, very handsome likeness. In the corporate world, they say it's just business, nothing personal. But with their history and all this delicious new sexual tension, Nova and Kessler are about to show just how personal things can get. Next is a book that is currently still free on Amazon. We have Getting Lucky by Ellen Mint. Jess is one of the unluckiest women in the world. Nothing in her world ever goes right. When a tree crashes through her bedroom window, she's unsurprised until a drop-dead gorgeous Irishman sticks his head inside. And this steamy novella just finds herself falling harder and harder for the man who her best friend swears is a leprechaun. Will Jess finally get lucky? Next, I have How to Woo a Wyvern by Cheryl Quinn. At the time, it was free. It's unfortunately not free anymore, but you could download it if you have Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for 99 cents. Welcome to Beastly, neutral shifter territory and home of four dragon shifters looking for love, only they didn't know it yet. Everything was fine until she walked in. She smells different, not quite human, not quite beast. I can't figure it out and it's making my dragon rise to the surface. It wants to claim her and by the gods help me, but so do I. I'm hunted, scared, running for my life, but I won't back down from the threat that seeks to destroy me. I found neutral ground and with it, a man I can't stop thinking about. He smells strange, 
like blue skies and the sea. My beast can't decide if she wants to eat him or claim him. I know what I want to do, but I can't bring him into this. If I do, it might destroy us both. Next, I have Interviewing for Her Lover by Ellis O'Day, and this is still currently free on Amazon. As soon as Nick sees Sarah, he knows he has to have her. Fortunately for him, she's in the market for a temporary lover. Now, all he has to do is convince her that he's the guy who can fulfill all her fantasies. Sarah's not ready for a relationship. She may never be, not after losing Adam, but she does miss being with a man. The sound of a male voice in the darkness, the touch of his hands, the warmth of his body wrapped around hers, the taste of his kiss. But picking up a stranger at a bar is dangerous and it doesn't guarantee that she'll get what she wants. La Petite Mort Club is a perfect solution. There she can shop for a man, all rich, all clean, and all with background checks. She has a list of candidates. All she has to do is choose one she wants. It should be simple. Then she meets Nick. He's hot, sexy, and likes to play kinky games. He's perfect for her, except she wants him more than she should, more than it's safe. She's not sure that she'll be able to walk away with her heart intact after six nights with him, and her heart can't be broken again. It'd never survive. Next, I have Crave to Conquer by Zoe Ellis. This book is still currently free on Amazon. The most savage alpha in the land is relentlessly searching for his Omega, and she's hiding right under under his nose. Arrogant ruler Droko enlists Kaelin to help him find a mate, but he yearns to dominate her. Knowing her life would be over if he ever discovered she was an Omega, Kaelin is trapped. She came for his secrets, prepared for his wild nature, but not for the effect he would have on her. Their irresistible attraction puts them both at risk. Everything they thought they knew is changed forever. Next, I have Wings on Fire by Anne Omasta. This is still currently free on Amazon. It's supposed to be simple. Carrie is my charge. My task is to silently watch over her and keep her out of harm's way. I've never before had a problem just keeping my humans alive, but Carrie is different. Everything about her draws me in. My wings are literally burning with desire for her. I'm tempted to reveal myself, even though I know I shouldn't. She makes me vulnerable. My vulnerability puts her at risk and I can't allow that. Next, I have a book I downloaded on Kindle Unlimited, which is called Finn by Liz Meldon. Unfortunately for Sky, internet security billionaire Cole Daniels, professional workaholic, has always been more like a best friend. When they were paired through an online sugar daddy service in Sky's most desperate hour, Cole rescues her from a financial ruin in a stress-induced breakdown. In return, he has kept the secret off his back by posing as his girlfriend for the past four years. But Sky wants more. No money or fame, but more of him. Cole, sweet, funny, and ceaselessly charming. At times, even he seems to crave a shift in their relationship to something a little messier before swiftly pulling back into the friend zone. Things take a turn for the scandalous, however, when the latest gift from her sugar daddy arrives, a new dress. He's taking Skye to a swanky soiree that evening, and the accompanying note as a titillating aside. P.S. Wear something underneath that makes you feel sexy. Thrilled, Sky obliges with her most daring lingerie, but when Cole's ulterior motives for the night surfaces, she's forced to swallow her disappointment and seek out her own fun, which arrives in the form of sinfully handsome heir to a chocolate empire, Finn Rye. Next, I have Liar by Fiona Cole. I downloaded this off of Kindle Unlimited, or you could purchase it for $3.99. He was my uncle's best friend, and I was too young for him. But in the heat of the moment, against the wall in a darkened hallway, of an illicit club, none of those things mattered. It was just one night of giving in to what we both wanted. I never expected to see him two years later, sitting across from me during a family dinner, encouraging me to do my internship for his business. One day we both agreed that repeating that night would be a mistake, but it's a mistake we can't help but make again and again. The rules are simple. We can't tell my uncle. We have to be content with our hotel rendezvous and we won't fall in love, but we both knew we were liars. Next I have Falling for Declan and Enemies to Lovers Romance by Tracy Lorraine. This is on Kindle Unlimited. At the time I purchased it for free though, or you could purchase it for $4.99. My life is sweet. I work hard, party harder, surf whenever the hell I want, and get any woman I desire. I can't get any better. Then my worst enemy moves to town. I've hated her from as early as I can remember, and now she's taunting me once again. Or tempting me? It seems the girl who plagued my younger years is now a woman I can't get out of my head. I'm falling for my childhood enemy. Nothing good can come out of this, or can it? Anyways, there you have it. Those are all of the many, 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 many books that I downloaded in the month of March. <laughs> Please let me know down below if you plan to download any of these or if you've read any of these. I would love to know. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.